Hello folks, the Wow Dev team has had a pretty weird relationship with flying over the years, going from just making it the default in Cataclysm to the dark times of Warlords of Draenor, where they were reluctant to even tell us if we'd ever get flying again. And of course, there was the dreaded Pathfinder of Legion in BFA. This was all to change in Dragonflight, with Dragon Riding giving us a new, faster and more involved form of flight that was available from very early on in the levelling experience. Dragon Riding took travelling within World of Warcraft to a whole new level and has turned out to be a huge success for the game, so much so that it's hard to see how we could ever go back. But then, I would also have said that about old style flying in Burning Crusade when it was first introduced and we all saw where that led. So let's dive into flying in the world within, will we get it, when will we get it, and how it's changing. Stay tuned to find out. So let's start with the day one experience in the war within. It very much looks to me like we're going to be getting a much larger intro to the new expansion than we got in Dragonflight. This intro isn't available for testing and it's looking pretty likely it won't be made available until the expansion launches, but my personal suspicion is that we won't have flying for it. Pretty much all the way back to the mop intro, flying's not been available during expansion intros. And for reasons I'll cover in a moment, there's really no reason to think that's going to change here. After the intro is done, on arrival in the new zone, the Isle of Dawn, we'll have this debuff. Yes, we're not going to be able to fly when we first arrive. But a debuff does kind of imply that this could be a temporary state of affairs, right? Well, the good news is that this debuff only lasts for the first few quests. After getting those out of the way, which will take maybe about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your playstyle, and it's off to the next area, and on arrival, that debuff is gone, and we'll all be able to take to the skies. Yes, if anything, it looks like we're going to be getting flying even faster than we did in Dragonflight, though that will depend a little on how long that intro takes. Either way, I'm feeling pretty positive about this as a start. But what does that mean for old style flying? Well, I'm going to come back to that in a little bit in the video, but as you might expect, no, we're not going to get that type of flying right at this stage. But that's not to say that there's absolutely no changes to flying. The first change is really a very simple one. The Dragon Riding Bland was obviously pretty specific to the Dragon Isles, and with some of the other changes that are being made, this name really doesn't work so well anymore. For a while, data mining did suggest it was going to be called Dynamic Flight, which is a very descriptive name, but perhaps not one that would set your average marketer's clothing on fire. And so the new name for Dragon Riding is Sky Riding, which I kind of like. As rebrands go, I suspect this may well be one that does stick with us players. What about old style flying? Well, it's now being called Steady Flight, which I guess isn't so exciting but at least we do have a name to call it now. The first big gameplay change is that we're no longer limited to just a few of our mounts being relevant to use. At the time I recorded this video, all but five of our old style flying mounts have now been fully converted over to dragon riding. Yes, you did hear that right. I'm pretty sure most of even the most optimistic of players would have said that while we hope Blizzard would convert a lot of the mounts, that there would be plenty that probably wouldn't work too well. For example, those pesky disc mounts. Well, the Blizzard animators, who along with the art team have always been rightly lauded by players, have been putting their prodigious skills to good use. Not only have they converted even the most difficult cases to sky riding, but the animations are actually awesome. I particularly love the way they have animated the flying horse style mounts. But if you are curious about those flying discs, well, here you go. They're not actually that bad, eh? With all of our mounts being enabled for sky riding, how do we access Steady Flight? Well, it's actually pretty straightforward. You simply go into your mount journal and right up at the top, you're going to see a brand new control. This is two options, the lower of which allows you to switch back and forth between Steady Flight and sky riding. And it really is as easy to that. And yes, you can drag the button onto one of your action bars if you prefer. The other option you see in that menu lets you get access to your sky riding talent tree. As you can see on screen, the talent tree has been slimmed down a lot. Most of the combat and gathering related talents are gone, leaving only those that are directly related to sky riding. The two choice nodes at the side are controls for flying along, which is the new way to toggle the ability to carry a passenger, and the other switches between Whirling Surge and Lightning Rush, which was the ability that came from the Algerian Skyrider mount. 
So that ability is now available in all mounts if you prefer it. Now back in the BlizzCon announcements for The War Within and Blizzard talked about resetting talents and having us re-earn them. That thankfully is no longer going to be the case. Instead, going into The War Within, all of our talents are going to remain unlocked, which I think is a lot better. Dragon riding glyphs do still remain a thing, but at least right now they don't offer any rewards. It's just basically an achievement thing. Although I do have a little theory about them that I'm going to cover in a bit more detail in a few minutes. In The War Within, Dragonflight is going to become the default leveling experience and with dragon riding deeply embedded into that expansion, what does this mean for leveling up and sky riding? Well, this bit kind of depends. According to a Blizzard update, Sky Riding will unlock at level 15, but that's not quite what's happening in the test realms. I suspect that the level 15 unlock will turn out to be the case for brand new players or returning players going into the Dragon Isles. But currently on the test realms, we're actually getting Sky Riding as soon as we enter the Dragon Isles, even at level 10. This may change, but I suspect that that's because I've already unlocked Dragon Riding and that this is going to be the intended experience in alts. In other words, new and returning players, you'll get Sky Riding at level 15, but when you come back on alt characters, you'll get it at level 10, at least for the Dragon Isles. If you're not going to be leveling in the Dragon Isles, then Sky Riding appears to unlock at level 20 for the rest of the world. It's not just Sky Riding that's getting some changes, it's both Steady Flight and Ground Riding are also getting updated. Ground Riding still unlocks at level 10, but we now go straight to the full Journeyman 100% mountain speed. And at level 20, we get Expert Riding, which grants Static Flying, now at 220% flight speed. And at level 30, that's when we'll get Master Riding, which is now giving us Static Flying at 420%. Yes, you did hear that right. Static Flying is getting a pretty decent buff in speed. All of this, by the way, will be kicking in in the War Within pre-patch. Overall, this all sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Well, there is a potential gotcha. It really wouldn't be the WoW dev team if there wasn't something. Currently, sky riding speed in the new War Within zones is capped at 805%. The 705 you're seeing in this image is the increase on the base 100. This just happens to be the same reduced speed that we experience in the older zones on the live game right now. The 930% speed that we had in the Dragon Isles is still available there, but currently that's the only place you can experience it. Which, to my mind, is a very strange decision, assuming it's not a bug. When the reduced speed in older areas was introduced, the dev's argument was that the older areas weren't built for the higher speed. Now, I personally don't agree with that point of view, but setting that aside, does this nerf mean that the new zones haven't been designed for sky riding? It's just a very bizarre decision, unless the dev just want flying speed to be the same everywhere, but then why not just keep it to full speed? To be fair, the 705 or 805% speed is super fast and honestly still feels pretty decent. But we're going to know that speed has been reduced and things like that can still impact how we feel about a video game. But this does assume that the lower speed is indeed the dev's final plan. Currently, as I mentioned earlier, the sky riding glyphs were a key part of leveling up flight and dragon flight, but in the war within aren't offering any rewards. So what if getting back to full speed in the new areas turns out to be the reward for collecting all the gifts? Now, honestly, that's a bit of a stretch, but I do think it would be a cool way to do it. It even makes sense from an RPG perspective. Our amounts going into a new area are initially nervous and a bit slower, but once we fully explore them, they get more confident and go up to full speed. On the subject of achievement rewards, let's talk about Steady Flight and the War Within. When you arrive in the new area, Steady Flight is the one thing that is currently completely unavailable. Just as in Dragonflight, there is going to be a Pathfinder in the War Within, and while it's not fully implemented so far, the devs have confirmed in interviews that Steady Flight will get its own unlock. In the dev interviews, we have been assured that this will be something that will be available right at the start of the War Within. 
and their plan for it was that it would only require doing the lore master achievement, which is to complete the campaign storylines and side quests, and the zone exploration achievements. If this turns out to be the case, this is probably the first example of a Pathfinder that I'm personally okay with. But at the same time, I do know that some people still have issues with motion sickness, and I also personally know people who are partially sighted and have upper limb disabilities who struggle a lot with sky riding. Personally, now we have sky riding, I see steady flight as an important accessibility tool, and while I understand the desire to push new players into sky riding, limiting it even temporarily for experienced players, in my opinion, does more harm than good. And I do hope that the dev team do take a long hard look at this decision. Overall, I personally think that the War Within plans for flying are very close to being the best we've ever had. We'll have access to flying far faster than any time since Cataclysm and the only thing that's holding it back is that weird reduction in speed in the new zones. Assuming that that does make it to the live, I do want to be clear that this isn't a huge issue. Sky riding still feels great and it is going to be fine. In all honesty, you don't really notice the reduction unless you know it's there. But we nevertheless do know that the game is capable of little more. And in the absence of a coherent explanation for this reduction, it just feels like arbitrary fun police stuff to me. So hopefully this is a bug or my theory about the higher speed being an earnable reward turn out to be correct. But what about all of you? Are you looking forward to taking to the skies in the world within? Or do you still have issues using sky riding and could really do with that steady flight being available sooner? Let me know in the comments down below. If you found this video interesting, I'm going to be doing a lot more dives into the War Within features and gameplay in a story spoiler feel way. So do make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified whenever those videos go live. And if you want to let me and YouTube know that I'm in the right track with these videos, do make sure also to hit that thumbs up icon. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.